Hi, my name is Tanisha Webb, and I am a student at ECU where I am studying um, social work when I'm actually working towards getting my master's in um, social work. So currently this semester, my group and I are taking a class called Community Partnerships where we partner up with a community organization um, within our local communities, um, no matter where we are placed at. And I live here in Greenville, North Carolina, so my group and I decided to do our partnership with Joy Soup Kitchen, who works towards um, um, fighting towards food insecurities um, with families, individuals that are located here in Greenville, North Carolina. So one of our main goals um, with partnering up with Joy Soup Kitchen was to help um, provide a food and supply drive for the organization to help um, Joy to be able to obtain um, all the items that they're necessarily needed um, to help fighting food insecurities here in Greenville, North Carolina. So today we're having our um, food drive, which will be from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., where we'll be here located um, through the front entrance of Joy and we'll be located on the room on the right hand side. Um, with this room, we'll be able to sell um, all the items that are needed for Joy, such as um, canned food, goods, um, snacks. Um, they take bottled water, anything that can go towards helping feed in the community um, here in Greenville, North Carolina, with fighting food insecurities. Myself, I'm Tom Quigley. I'm the head volunteer over here at Joy Soup Kitchen. And uh, Tanisha reached out to me probably about a month or so ago about wanting to have their group do a drive for us, which I take any type of drive coming in here because basically what I did is I gave them a list of stuff that we use on a daily basis. And they wanted specific items. I said, these are things we use every day. So she's like, is it okay if we sit up a drive, come over to the soup kitchen and sit down here? And I says, hey, the more younger people I can get involved doing stuff like this, the better it's going to be when us old people leave out of here. So everything today is about the community partners over here. And about Tanisha, taking the time out of her day to day to sit here till tonight at 6 o'clock, collecting whatever food and supplies come in for us. Okay. And can you tell me a little bit more about Joy Soup Kitchen itself? Yeah, about Joy Soup Kitchen here, we've been here for over 30 years. Uh, we feed on average 120 for lunch each day and another 100 at night, uh, Monday through Thursday. Dinner is Monday through Friday, 1030 to 1230. Dinner is 5 to 6 at night takeout. Some days on the third, fourth week of the month, we could hit 250 meals a day. So it's a constant need for supplies. What it is though, is we have lack of storage now. So we gotta get it in and we gotta get it out as quick as we can. And like I said, everything they're collecting today is daily use items. So items that you see in this room are items that Joy use um, daily to help um, feed in the community. So as you can see, you'll see seasonings because they are a soup kitchen. So they do cook soups and provide other meals and things for the community. So right here you see a plethora of different seasonings. Um, another thing they're in need of is um, the compartment trays because they do do their dinners um, as takeouts. So this makes it easier to pack up the people's dinner and just hand it to them when they come by and pick up. Um, each meal they give um, the, in, the families individual snacks so they need lots of different snacks and stuff so they can provide um, along with those meals as well.